What if there was one simple trick that could increase your prospects intentions of making a purchase, their willingness to switch brands and pay more, their likelihood of recommending your offering to others, their perception that you're different and better. In an experiment done by Corporate Visions and Dr. Zachary Tormala, a social psychologist with expertise in messaging and persuasion, we wanted to discover if a specific messaging technique was better at convincing prospects to leave their status quo and do something new. Specifically, we tested whether contrasting differences between a desirable future state, such as new product features and benefits, and a problematic current state, such as current product limitations, would enhance the appeal of the future state compared to simply presenting the future state alone. The study included more than 450 participants who took part in an online experiment. They were instructed to imagine they had their current phones for about a year and were reading some information about a new smartphone. Participants were informed that they'd receive some information about the new smartphone's features, which would begin on the next screen. When they got there, participants received specific information about the new smartphone, specifically a list of the phone's features. This was identical for all participants. But what the participants didn't know is that, before the study, they were randomly assigned to two different conditions. The only variation between the two? The presence and location of information describing problems and issues with their current smartphones. Here's what each group experienced. The first viewed a non-contrast condition, where participants received a list of four of the new smartphone's features and benefits a future benefits only scenario. The second group viewed a contrast condition in which they received the exact same features and benefits list for the new phone, but also, right next to it, a list of four issues pertaining to their current phones. This was the current then future condition. So, which condition fared best? Though all the participants received identical information promoting the new smartphone, the study revealed this information was more persuasive when presented as a direct comparison to the issues of the current smartphone. In fact, regardless of how the contrast was presented, same page or different pages, sequentially or side by side, the new smartphone was more attractive when its merits were directly compared against current smartphone limitations instead of just alone. The study reveals a statistically significant difference in favor of the comparative presentations across several dimensions. Participants in the contrast condition reported a 15% higher likelihood of purchasing the new smartphone compared to those in the future benefits only presentation. Comparative condition participants reported more favorable attitudes toward the new phone and a greater willingness to switch to it by a margin of 14%. The comparative presentation also made participants 12% more likely to share information about the new phone and recommend it to others. They were also 13% more likely to perceive the new phone as being higher quality, more innovative, and a more marked improvement over their current phones. This study validates that contrast drives persuasion. To disrupt a prospect's status quo situation, you need to sharpen the contrast between the pain of where they are today and the upside of where they could be with you. To learn more about using contrast to generate value in your messaging, content, and skills, check out corporatevisions.com.